Getting right into today's video, we are starting off by removing my client's current design. We're going to be doing another fill with some gel polish and nail art. But I'm just starting off by using my Eva at a speed of about 10 to 11,000 RPMs, medium amount of pressure on my handpiece, and using my Not Polish 5 in 1 bit in medium grit. It is the red one. I'm going to go ahead and Continue to file off her design. If you guys missed that video, make sure you guys go check it out. I did upload that for you guys about a week ago, so make sure you guys go check that out if you're interested. I'm just going to continue to lightly file off that design. I want to make sure that I am not over applying pressure when doing this process. All I want to do is file off gently that design without removing any of the acrylic. Of course, once I get to the cuticle area, if I do see any lifting, I would do a little bit of filing in that area. But I believe she didn't really have any lifting at all whatsoever. So I'm just going to be focusing on removing that design, thinning out the cuticle area, and then we're going to go into our natural nail prep. Now we are going in with my mandrel bit. My client did request once again to not do any cuticle work, so we're gonna be bypassing all of that other than just prepping her natural nail. I'm using a mandrel bit from Profiles Backstage. Along with that, I'm using their sanding bands as well. My speed of my e file is down to 4,000 RPMs, and I'm just using extremely light pressure when doing this. My goal is to just gently buff off that shine from her natural nail while also blending that acrylic that she already has to her natural nail so that when I go in and do the fill it all blends seamlessly so again very very carefully i'm just kind of buffing off that shine i'm trying to not touch her cuticles at all whatsoever it was a little tricky but we made it happen i'm not going to be using my needle bit or my cuticle bit for this set I'm going in with the Kiara Sky Lint Free Wipes, a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, and just cleaning that cuticle area, making sure that I remove all that dust from the area while also dehydrating the nail all at once. Now we're going in with my primer. This is a triple X bond from Not Polish, and just applying that where her natural nail growth is. I want to make sure that all the products adhere properly to her nail, so I'm going to make sure that I add a coat of that. Now, if you do have issues with lifting, go ahead and add a second coat, but since she did pretty good the last time, we're just going to go ahead and add one coat. I'm going to go right into my acrylic application. For this video, I am using the Not Polish Clear Acrylic. A fill is very, very quick if you have zero lifting, so always make sure to try as best as possible to 
have very little to no lifting so i'm just gonna go in and very quickly take a medium sized bead of clear acrylic apply that near the cuticle push it up hold the finger downwards and very very quickly blend it down and i'm also using the not polished acrylic brush in a size 12 if you guys are wondering it's been my go-to lately Now we're going in and quickly filing the surface of that nail. I'm just taking my same 5-in-1 bit, going over it very, very quickly. Light pressure on my e-file, speed at 10 to 11,000 RPMs. And I'm just going to go up and down around that cuticle and make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I'm going in with my hand file. This is a Tammy Taylor peel and stick file. We're gonna be filing the sides, making sure that the shape is nice and perfect. I am gonna be going in from one side, alternating to the other side very frequently until I feel like that tip is nice and straight down the middle so that I don't over file one side or the other. I like to do my stiletto super, super sharp so I make sure that I hold the file very, very straight on the sides so that everything just flows downwards extremely straight. I'm going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage, very quickly buffing the surface of the nail, making sure that everything is nice and smooth and prep for our gel polish application.
or cleaning the surface of the nail with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. And then we're going to be going in with our gel polish. She did request nude once again. So just to be safe, I went ahead and used the exact same nude that we used in her last design, which is Kiara Skies Bear With Me. This gel polish, and honestly, a lot of their gel polish is are very very see-through so you can always add a second coat but I kind of like that see-through vibe because it, it gives it a little bit more of like a natural look to it so I personally like to just add one coat sometimes it can be a little bit more sheer on certain areas but once I go in with the design since I'm going to be covering the majority of the nail with the design I feel like it kind of blends it out a little bit um, I don't know let me know what you guys think if you guys agree or am I just making a huge mistake so I'm just going to be adding a little bit of that on the surface of the nail. I had a little bit of a lint, a little fuzzy on there, so I just went ahead and scraped it off and then reapplied. But I'm just going to go in and very, very quickly apply that. We're going to be putting that in the light for a full minute. I went ahead and applied some on the other hand as well and then I'm just wiping off the sides to make sure that the gel did not overflow. I always recommend to do this to make sure you keep your shape nice and crisp. Again, placing that in the light while the other hand is in the light. We're going to start our nail art application. So she did request some plant leaf vibes. So I am simply taking the frosting gel paint from Profiles Backstage in the color green. And then I'm also taking the gel art liner from not polish in their green because a lot of the time when you use different paints from different companies their shades are going to be different and i wanted just that i wanted to kind of mix in lighter greens brighter greens and a darker green so i'm going to be taking those two base greens and then i am adding a little bit of frosting gel paint into one of the greens which i believe it was the profiles backstage one and making it a little bit darker. So you're gonna be able to see kind of different shades on the nail, and that's basically what I used for that. And of course, for my nail art brush, I'm using my McCart brushes from Amazon. I'll leave those linked if you guys are interested in purchasing those. I have the white, pink, and black ones, I believe, but they also have a different color combo as well. They come in a pack of three. Very, very inexpensive. The quality is amazing, so definitely recommend these brushes. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my little leaves. I'm kind of just going with it. Um, we're making them pretty, pretty simple, very easy to recreate. So if you guys wanna give this a go, I promise you, you will be able to do it. I'm basically starting with one line in the middle to kind of center the leaf and give me an idea of where to place the little leaves. And then, uh, I'm kind of just using different types of pressure when doing the leaves. So for the first one that I did, I did more of like a ton of pressure at the tip and then brought it into a point with uh, when I'm going towards the stem, if that makes sense. And then the other ones, I did it backwards. I did more pressure where the stem is at and then loosened up the pressure as I brought out that little leaf. And then you kind of just mess with it. Uh, you can make them bigger, smaller. You can make them more of like a diamond shape. There's just so many different possibilities. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing with it. For this one, we're doing a little bit of like a swoop motion, thicker at the base and bringing it out into a point. Again, I did a little bit of a line. Applied more pressure, which gives it the thickness in the leaf and then loosened up the pressure, which gives it the thin part at the tip of it. If that makes sense, I hope that helps. It's very, very simple once you get the hang of it and you'll be able to know exactly what to do for the look that you wanna get. So I'm basically just going with it. I do like to look at the nail that I previously did so that they're not super, super similar and I kind of can mix it up a little bit. I'm just gonna be going around the nails like that and figuring it out as I go.
Now I'm just going to continue to do the little leaves, kind of alternating them from nail to nail. And I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the process on the other hand as well, because I did realize that I was kind of blurring out the focus of the camera because my nails are freaking long and I always try to get them out of the way and I end up getting way too close to the camera. So I apologize for that, but I'll be sharing a little bit more footage with you guys as well. Now, another quick little tip that you guys can always do to give a little bit more depth and like a realistic look for the leaves is to use the different shades of greens that you put on your little palette and kind of just dip your brush in one and then dip it in another and then paint your leaf that way it'll give it a little bit more of that dimension that you see in an actual leaf like you don't have like a solid green color sometimes a lot of the time they're different shades of green throughout so I feel like that's a, another quick little thing that you can kind of just implement into it and make it look a little bit cute but we're going to continue to do our little leaves i'm basically doing like the same process over and over again just different little shapes different sizes and different greens
And of course, always remember to cure in the light whenever you feel it is necessary. If you think you need to cure after every single finger, go ahead and do that. I went ahead and just did one full hand with the nail art, then placed it in the light while it was in the light, I worked on the other hand. I'm going in with my top coat. I am using the Not Polish Gloss It. I'm gonna go ahead and add a thin layer of that, making sure that I'm really pressing it into the nail art portion because if you have any little ridges or divots, it will infill that area. And then I'm going to be placing that in the light for a full minute. I like to do the 90 second option on the Kiara Sky Light because it gives you a little bit more curing time. And then of course, don't forget to wipe the sides. Once again, I'm just simply taking my finger, running it along the edges of the nail, making sure that there's no over spillage of the top coat. I'm gonna be popping that in the light, but that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time.